scrimmage giving a speech to the defense. Like, how are you trying to just take that next step and grow as a leader this year? You know, in the in the safety room, it's it's really me, Greg, and uh, Zay pull them out that really try to be the leaders out there on the defense and you know lead our younger guys. So we just always make it a stress to go out there and you know get our guys going, be motivated, bring the energy and bring the juice. And so I think us being in the circle, that's just a time where we can kind of bring that upon our teammates and our brothers. So I would say in that time, I'm really just doing my best just to you know spread energy and get everybody hyped up, like get everybody locked in, focused, and then also. You know, when we circle up, everybody kind of locks arms and rocks. So that's also another way of us just showing that we, in like whatever we do, we do it together. And whatever, like when we're on the field, whether you're on the sideline, everybody's supporting each other. It doesn't matter who's in. You guys have had some pretty good leaders in that safety. Greg and Isaiah and Tal, like, what do you feel like you've picked up from them, learned from them over the years? You know, we always push us, like, to, to be better than the last day. So whether it's, you know, us being on the field and just telling each other like, hey, I need you on this drive. Or, you know, us getting each other going just to get to the training room, just to go stretch, just to do extra work, you know. We were getting opportunities where we would get, we would go out on Saturdays, we would come out here and just try and get working together as a, as a unit though. We would try to get the younger guys to get out there as well. So I think us just being together all the time, we're always pushing each other. We always talk ball even outside of here. And then we always just talk about our goals. It's, it's sort of like manifesting, you know, like, we continue to talk and then just speak it into existence as we're on the field and that chemistry is continue to, you know, build and, you know, be displayed that, you know, we're honestly just always with each other. Talking to Coach Nybar during the spring, he made it seem like he felt like your body was catching up to your mind in terms of football this year. Do you feel like you're taking that step too? Yeah, for sure, 100%. Um, I felt like a struggle that I had before was, you know, I, I would – mentally know like everything that's going on but my body just needed to react a little bit faster and so this spring i kind of took that extra jump to where my mind and my body were moving and thinking at the same time so whenever i thought something my body was moving i was trying to make that an emphasis you know not to think but just to move and just to react so with that being you know stressed and on my part and my training and everything like that I made it an emphasis to do it on the field and try and carry that over as much as I can to, you know, fall down. Now. How do you take that step? Is it like just a matter of maturity or is it a part of the off-season conditioning you guys have been doing? A part of it is is maturity, um, experience, you know, seeing what's going to come and, you know, just trusting your instincts. Um, another part of it is, you know, studying, being able to be in that room and get in your playbook and, you know, know exactly what you have to do so that when you're on the field and they just call the play, you already know exactly what you're doing. Um, and then on top of that, you know, I just feel that you got to take, I wouldn't say take risks, you got you to gotta just go. You can't be scared of anything. And I took a lot of the fear out of my game. Any thinking, any doubts, any second guessing, I've been doing my best to eliminate that out of my entire play. So being able to have, you know, no fear on the field and you know, not only promote it, but receive it as well from my teammates, you know, as we're coming together. That just helped a lot with, you know, speeding up that process of, you know, being able to react and go. You, you spoke about, you know, taking on a more vocal leadership role. On those days where you have to motivate yourself, what do you do when you're having one of those days where, you know, I just not, I'm not feeling it? Um, I would say it's it's just self-talk. You know, I'm, I, I have a lot of, times where I would say I'm, I'm just communicating with myself though like I'm talking whether it's out loud whether it's you know in my head whatever the situation is you know I'm, I'm putting encouragement and motivation into my own head and so that's just like come on let's get going and you know I also don't want to be selfish for my brothers you know if, if I'm not having a good day that doesn't mean I'm I can't do my job I still got to do my job whether I'm you know having an off day or not and so I always tell myself, you know, don't be selfish. It's, it's people out here that need you. And then you need to be able to share that to other people. But like, I mean, we need each other. So with us being able to do that, it helps put that in my own head. And I just constantly I repeat that to myself. You know, let's get going. Let's, let's get motivated. Come on, Chase. Like, you know, your teammates need you today. Let's go. Don't be selfish. Let's keep working. Don't waste a day. Don't waste a day. Don't, don't just come out here today and, you know, go out and go through the motions, anything like that. I just constantly try to keep myself going. And that's that's throughout the whole practice. I do that on days where I'm good, too. So. How much of Robert Steiner's influence is, is, is 
how you didn't that. He's, he put a heavy stress on mental toughness throughout our entire training, whether it's in the summer, um, in the spring, in the winter. He's put such a heavy stress that whatever we do is mental training. You know, we're in there, we're obviously lifting, running, conditioning, all of that stuff. But what we had to put such a heavy stress on was the mental side because those are the battles that you go through in the game. If you can't be disciplined and you can't think and be able to control yourself during the game, then it's pointless, you know, having all this training. Anybody can run around and, you know, follow the plays, but if you don't have, you know, the mental strength to be out there and fight and battle through things and, you know, when you're going through adversity, being able to pick yourself up and keep going, those are the things that you have to fight through. And Coach Steiner, he puts so much of an emphasis on that, and that's every single day, where, like everything we do when we train, he put that emphasis on it. So he's been a heavy influence to us, especially as the leaders on the team. He's brought us together and helped us, you know, come and influence the other players on the team and bring everybody so that instead of, you know, a team with four leaders or five leaders, it's a team of 100. Of these younger guys that are coming in the safety room, what do you see that kind of rem reminds you of you? That reminds me of me. This, they just go. And no matter what it is, they work for them. You know, some people have a lot of, like, God-gifted abilities. They have a lot of talent, and that gets them by a lot of things. But one thing I see in our younger guys is that they just, no matter what, they work hard. They try to outwork each other. They go on the field. They compete. They never give up, you know, and that, that's something that I stress. I wasn't always, you know, the most athletic. I might not have been there, but I was always the one that, you know, continued to work and push myself and always made sure that part of the side was getting done. So that's something that our young guys all embody, and they all just push themselves, and they all want to be great. So.